what do we know? Where does this go? So we know that this um, scientist, um, Mohsen Fakhrizada, was killed on the outskirts of eastern Tehran, and he's a top scientist. He was well-known. Um, he was working for the Ministry of Defense. He was singled out and named by Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, in this big presentation he gave back in April 20, um, back, back in April 2018, singling him, him out as someone of key interest to to Israel. So, um, at Zari's suspicions, you know, come with a lot of sort of um, background, obviously freighted and a lot of concerns over Israel's um, past efforts in Tehran to sabotage and to cause some kind of chaos in Iran's nuclear program. He is obviously one of several now, the fifth nuclear scientist to be killed and assassinated on Iranian soil. Um, where it goes from here, I mean, this is obviously coming um, at a time when Donald Trump is meant to be exiting the White House. Um, he has kind of um, tried to push quite severely this maximum pressure strategy strategy that culminated last year in the assassination of General Hassan Soleimani um, on January the 3rd, at the very start of the year. So it feels like possibly um, perhaps there's an effort to rebound those tensions, plunge the Persian Gulf into a crisis once again, in an effort to kind of scorch the earth before um, Joe Biden can enter, can enter the White House. And um, given the way that um, Trump's allies in the region, Israel, Saudi Arabia, uh, to an extent the UAE have allied with that maximum pressure strategy, wouldn't come as a surprise if this this also comes as part of that. But the Iranians are now saying that they're going to vow severe revenge, and we're just going to have to wait and see um, what they're going to do. Based on what happened in the killing of Qasem Soleimani, they then obviously retaliated yep. by attacking a U.S. base in Iraq. So that, that could be on the cards. We just, we just don't know.